A piece is cut of from this 25mm axle shaft. The workpiece is faced and centered drilled at both ends. I shall turn the workpiece between centers. Instead of removing the three jaw, I hold a sacrificial center in the chut. The center has a protrusion where the stud is fitted to drive the dog. The center is trued. The section that shall hold the gear cutter is turned. Next I shall turn the spigot where the gear cutter shall be held. First I locate the cutter at the end of the cut. I then set the automatic carriage feed stop mechanism I made. It will disengage the half nut at this point. This feature is useful when making repeated cuts. The workpiece is flipped around and the part that shall be held in the collet chuck is turned. It needs to be reduced to 16 millimeters. The shank part is turned to the final diameter of 16 millimeters. Spot on. Since I am using ER collets, 
Anything under 16 millimeters would have been equally satisfactory. The cutter end is drilled and tapped for the cutter retaining screw. I used a gun tap to cut the thread in that blind hole. Gun taps push the chips in front of the tap. If care is not taken, the bottom of the hole will fill with compressed chips. This can also lead to tap breakage. I made this tool from a self-tapping screw to remove the chips. I use the edge finder and the Y-axis DRO to align the center of the arbor with that of the mill spindle. I shall cut the key slot using an end mill. The key was cut from some flat stock and filed to shape. Now I can also hold gear cutters in my collet chuck.